Well, at 15, you had a tragedy. Yeah, yeah. So um, when I was 15 years old, my, my dad shot himself in the head. Um, he was always dealing with a lot. Like I said, he was a military veteran. But also, um, I felt like he was away from us for too long, you know, and problems that he had with my mom or that he had with my sister, I think that he thought that my sister and I hated him because my brother has a different dad, right? So me and my sister were the two children that came from him. And I think he just, he got overwhelmed with the feeling of of being alone, you know, and he ended up killing himself. And uh, I remember telling my mom, like, one day, like, I'm in my room, and I'm like, I just don't feel like going to school today. So I, I go to my mom, and she's in the kitchen, and she used to work overnight, right? So she's, like, in there making breakfast. And the only time this would normally happen is, like, when we take in, like, the LEAP test or some kind of standardized testing where, you know, they say, eat your breakfast in the morning and all of these things. So I'm already kind of looking like, this is different, you know? And she, uh, she says... Um, you know, like, how you feeling this morning or whatever? And I was like, actually, I just don't feel like going to school today. And she was like, well, you don't have to. And in my mind, I'm thinking, I need to do this more often. You know what I'm saying? I need to be like, hey, you know, give give me some time to myself sometimes, you know, and see how it turns out. And she was like, you know, your daddy killed himself this morning. And I was like, no, I didn't, I didn't know that, you know? And uh, still to this day, I've never cried about it. My sister took it so hard and, like, was just screaming, crying, like, for for almost an entire day. And I just, I couldn't even take it. And I just remember, you know, um, that being this strange sort of breaking point for me where I felt like I became the man of the house um, without any sort of preparation for it, you know? It was a scary feeling. I, I miss my dad. Yeah, I'm sorry for your loss. I lost my dad a few few years ago also. And um, it's nothing quite like losing your dad. I became more emotional afterwards. Like I cry easier now than I did back then because of that. So, yeah, man, I'm sorry. Yeah, man. I mean, you know, not having your father in your life affects you more than you know. Because you, when you're young and you have something like that happen, the first thing you do is, like, you get angry. Because, like, I feel like we could have talked about it or... He, you know, it, it had just been nice to have my dad here. You know, like an interesting fact about my dad, actually, that I didn't find out until after he killed himself was that he was one of the uh, fight coordinators for, uh, I believe it was Enter the Dragon, something with, uh, with um, uh, Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee and Chuck Norris. Is that Enter the Dragon? I think so. Yeah, but he was he was one of the fight coordinators, which was really cool. You know what I mean? Because you know, he was a Green Beret and basically like a weapon, which was kind of dope, yeah, so. Yeah, it's actually the way of the dragon. The way of the dragon, okay. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. But yeah, my dad was a fight coordinator on that, and like, who knew, you know what I mean? He'd be proud as hell to know I was an actor right now, so. Yeah, yeah. man, shout out to him. 